It is the most powerful military alliance in the world, but in this new world disorder, its leaders have to move a little more slowly than the massed brigades and armaments commanded by NATO. This summit meeting here in Wales, a good chance for world leaders to discuss the latest threat from the so-called Islamic State. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Just like President Obama, David Cameron's been dealing with a hostage situation, but it was clear in an interview with Sky News that no ransom would be paid. Britain doesn't pay for um, terrorist uh, kidnaps. On other occasions, payments have been made. Uh, sometimes I think governments have turned a blind eye, uh, and I think that is deeply regrettable. As I say, from the intelligence and other information I've seen, there's no doubt this money helps to fuel the crisis that we see uh, in, in Iraq and Syria. For the Spanish, Italian and French governments, it's not so straightforward. They're known to turn a blind eye even to facilitate the payments of ransoms. For the NATO Secretary General, the issue of involvement is much broader. As regards NATO, we haven't received any request uh, for a NATO engagement. I'm sure that uh, if the Iraqi government were to forward a request for NATO assistance, that would be considered seriously. The Prime Minister met with non-NATO regional leaders such as the King of Jordan today. Any UK military action will be part of an invited coalition force led by regional players, not the West. You're we leading from the back here. You're not wanting to get ahead of public we opinion. We do need to learn the lessons of the past. And I think one of those lessons is that if you intervene uh, over the heads of local people, then you're less likely to be successful. Here, the question we should ask ourselves is what more can we do to help those who are fighting the so-called Islamic State on the ground, the Kurds and the Iraqi government? Prime Minister's message is clear. A slow squeeze on the IS and learning the lessons of past engagements in Iraq. And that means a political solution driven from Baghdad with Western military support, yes, if needed and if requested, but for now a NATO training mission. And overnight, the RAF dropped off 10 tonnes of non-lethal equipment, body armour and helmets. But the government's now willing to step that up, will look favourably to any request from the Kurds for lethal armaments from Britain. Back in the summit this afternoon, a pause for reflection. The last post played out to mark the end of the NATO mission in another trouble spot, Afghanistan. A pensive prime minister considering fallen soldiers, adamant that yes, he is learning the lessons of the past, but are those lessons the right ones? Faisal Islam, Sky News at the NATO summit in Wales.